So uh, the channel uh, JFC uh, looks back on a long-standing uh, history and it's just a, uh, an honor and a pleasure, so to say, to step into the shoes of uh, the previous uh, editors-in-chief and try to uh, take up the multiple challenges which are showing up in that field. I think we have to find also new ways how to reward our authors who uh, publish three, four, five papers every year in our journal. So in addition to, to reach uh, best-in-class scientists, uh, I also would like to work more on media coverage because it's uh, our social responsibility, in particular in agriculture and food chemistry, that we explain uh, the society and the consumers uh, for what that type of chemistry is needed. Uh, if you look nowadays to global societal challenges, uh, we can see that primary agriculture on one hand, but also food production, they are facing uh, increasing challenges. There is uh, increasing challenge coming up uh, from uh, malnutrition, uh, primarily due to um, uh, limitations in the resources. We, we need novel technologies and novel products uh, utilizing sustainable agriculture in order to generate um, technologies which serve these coming needs of society and this is exactly the topic where what AFC is, is, is focusing on. It's from agriculture to food to nutrition to the consumer at the very end. My uh, primary research goal is to elucidate the chemical code of molecules responsible for uh, the sensory perception of food and food products. That means we are looking for the chemical composition uh, which drive us to like or dislike certain food products. So the idea is to figure out which 20, 30, 40 molecules out of the 10,000s in our daily diet are the ones which we can sense up with our uh, olfactory and taste receptors. So for, uh, for authors it's most uh, important um, to do research which is really novel. Not, do not redo what others have been done already. That's the most important thing. If um, you consider that a uh, paper to be submitted is better than the average of previously published work, uh, there's a win-win situation for the authors and the journal. For the authors because that's your possibility to um, leave a footprint in the scientific landscape because you have an impactful paper. On the other hand, it's good for the journal because it propels the uh, impact and the scientific quality. The best advice some people gave me in the past uh, is definitely do uh, what you would like to do and uh, for what you are, your heart is burning and not what others tell you to do or what others expect you to do.